What's going on guys, it's Woody here and I'm back with part 11 of my Dead Island Riptide. Let's play. I got it right this time. Dead Island. So yeah, here we are. Dr. Kessler's just in, just inspected the blood. Said it's very interesting. I'm sure you've all been waiting to hear what it says. What he says, I know I have. So here we go. He's got the results. Doctor. Do I have AIDS? You are completely resistant to the virus. Woohoo! Yes, I knew that already. <laughs> Yeah. No, it is not what you think. Your resistance to the virus has kept it from multiplying, from wreaking havoc on your body. But it has not destroyed so still the, got virus. the virus. It has merely suppressed it. You need to be very careful. Don't you tell me what to contact do. contact with certain types of reagents could trigger a mutation. And if the virus mutates, it stands to reason that you could lose your immunity. Or much, much, much worse. He's cross -eyed. Unfortunately, there are so many factors to consider that it is impossible for me to tell you exactly what might happen. But one thing is clear. You should avoid anything that would put you at risk. Mm, such as... Infected. Your plan was to use the tunnels to reach Henderson, correct? Yes, the Japanese created them during World War II. And later they were used to store chemical weapons. Wow, so we can't even use In the, the 50s, during a monsoon, there was a leak. When some of those chemicals worked their way into the water, the Aussies sent in a battalion of engineers and soldiers to clean them up. But they weren't successful. Well, that they sucks went into us, the tunnels, it? one of them must have been infected. The virus mutated and all hell broke loose. The Aussies had to blow the entrances to prevent the infection from spreading. Oh no, the tunnels are fucked. Most of the men were still down in the tunnels. I have long suspected that exposure to those chemicals is what caused the infected soldier to mutate. Anyway, you need to find the old Jesuit mission. A passageway runs from the ruins down into the tunnels. Here is the map as I promised. Cheers, I dude. I will stop you from going down there. That is your decision. But if you do... Use an abundance of caution. Try to avoid oh, wow. prolonged exposure to the chemicals. So we got to go through the tunnels, sure but the, the tunnels is covered with chemicals, you, and the chemicals will lose our uh, lose our immunity. Harlow, can Shit. you hear me? I need to go upgrade my Thank weapons. God, Where's the bench? Work. Did you get the map from Kessler? Uh, yeah, I got it. Dun, but dun, it's not dun. going to be easy getting through the tunnels, though. You can fill me in when we meet up. Where are you going now? I'm going to find the tunnel entrance. Excellent. Excellent. Oh wow, I forgot to get a stun gun. Oh yeah. I'm gonna drop my um No inventory. I'm gonna drop the nail gun, because I haven't used that in god knows how long. Swift stun gun. I wanna put this on. Oh wow, what? Oh yes, yeah, a gun, isn't it? Of course. It's not just the um stun zap gun, whatever it's called. You actually have to shoot him with it. So that kind of sucks. I thought maybe we'd just be able to run up to him and zap him, but obviously not. Could be, could come in handy though. Might be quite damaging. Wow, what are the odds? <laughs> the bench I need is actually covered in mines, so. Oh wow, I actually just crapped myself. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I thought I was going to make it through, so I, like, t I ran to try and get past. Oh, well, at least the mine should be gone now. Well, at least the one that blew us up anyway, so. I know I can sneak past this one, so that's pretty good. There's one up there. Oh, there's so many of them. Look at them all. Whatever's down in that someone didn't want them to find Maybe it. Maybe there's something inside. So just put rage mode on. What? What's up here? I don't know, but what I know is that we're past the bombs.
Ah. Ah. Oh crap. I seen the bomb and then I just like heard the scream. Oh well. Got him. Ah, oh, explosive mines, hell yeah. Oh, so it looks like somebody obviously came here to try and um like hold off. Oh look at all these grenades. Oh yeah. But obviously they died. That's why they put all the mines down. So got four thousand pounds, let's repair everything that's good, the universal axe, the claws, fire axe. Even though I can't even use that yet. The machete, the barbecue blade, the shovel, and the wicked sickle. I'm also gonna upgrade some. Let's have a look at upgrading this wicked sickle. So it adds another 40 damage, 24, 7 durability. So that's pretty good. Now I'm out of money. This paralyzing machete as well is good. So, there we go. So there we go. I guess it was worth it. Oh wow, are you serious dude? Why did I never think? Oh my days! God damn it! It seemed so easy. It was so easy. I'm just dumb. Oh, at least it's gone now. Didn't mean to throw that. This all good. Wow! It didn't even destroy the other one. It killed me. No. Oh, it's just about to move away. This pissed me off. At least the bombs are gone now. It's really pissed me off. Flare's still going, which is good, I guess. Maybe there's Fuck something you. useful. Oh, that's pissed me off now. So at least I know I can just take this way now and be out of um, be out of this research lab. or not. Sonic mine. Don't want mines, I'm never going to use them. Oh well, I'm still out of the area, so that's good. It's fine and dandy. There we go. So yeah, how are you guys enjoying the game, guys? Oh wow, on chapter 5 already. So chapter 4 was all basically inside that research lab. But yeah, so how are you enjoying the game? I'm thinking it's pretty pretty good so far. You could help me, you know. Santa Maria. Oh wow. Down steering. Wait, is it get better to take a car or take a boat? I can make that trip by car, except for when we get up to there, probably. So I'm just going to put a waypoint there. Oh, wow. I haven't seen no monsoon soon, anyway. I've seen it's rained once so far. I was really expecting it to start raining then. Ditch. Ew. Crap. Just get rid of that waypoint and then head in here. Must have used this little cave entrance like so many times now and each time we get given like a thousand, a thousand pounds. Because of these fat ones. Can't be asked to explore it all though. Just want to get to the, the um, objective and end this episode. It's getting quite late now, it's like 10 o'clock I think. 
So yes, still Thursday. This this will probably be out on Saturday. Um, I've pre-recorded three episodes in a row. Hope you guys don't mind. Yeah. Really hoping to just sit down and enjoy the weather the whole weekend, not have to worry about this YouTube thing. Oh, oh damn! Oh, I just mauled his head in. See, that's how a weapon should be. I mean, after killing all three of them, the durability um, is still quite high, and the stamina has hardly gone down, so. That's the sort of weapon we like, and these claws are just deadly, look. They're like Wolverine claws, with barbed wire on them. How awesome can you get? Why did Wolverine never put barbed wire on his weapons? I guess because when he retracted them, he probably would have cut his whole hands off. This place is truly amazing. Oh, I know this place from the trailer. Not yet, I'm still looking. Yep. This where like and then this soon becomes the these Oh wow, that does a whole lot of damage. Let's see what other axes I've got. That one can go. But yeah, I know I recognise this place. That did not work out the way I wanted it to. But yeah, this place soon becomes like the paradise camp thing. Like the whole world. I've seen in the trailer for the game. Oh damn, I got tapped from behind. Oh yeah, I'm on the music channel. Guess what song just came on? Thrift Shop. <laughs> song used to be alright, I guess. Never actually fully listened to it, but now it just pisses me off. Oh, are you ready for this? I forgot I had this ready. What the hell is that going? It's like a running um thug. Quick death. Wow, look how many zombies there are, nice. Eduardo Quick Death Patoya. Very fast, has very powerful attacks, a lot of damage, regenerates his health. Eduardo's sole misfortune was that he lived in a distinct in the district that the government was turning into a quarantine zone, then he saw what was happening to his friends and neighbours, how they were turning into unimaginable beasts. He decided it was time to get out and out he did. But he eventually got Come on, that's really apart. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't know what's here. Oh, med kit's nice. Rifle ammo. Please let be some sort of shot on the knees. Got a mace, which no one has. Upgrade on my blade weapons. Flare, which is absolutely terrible. Ah, oh, revolver, we're nice, we got a revolver. So let's replace stun gun with it, yeah. Oh, we got 50 bullets on it as well. See if I can upgrade the revolver. I can't. Oh yeah, sluggish revolver. I'm not gonna do that though. Actually, it only costs £160. Or dollars. Then upgrade another 70 damage. It's really cheap to upgrade. That costs like 700 in total. And I reckon that's going to be worth it, so. Just give me a reason. Just a bit enough. Oh, blows that off. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh. Oh. No. Hello? <laughs> I heard a splash. Just gonna turn around, there's gonna be some little kid swimming in the water. Yay! Yay, mommy, yay! 
Oh, it says I cave found entrance. the door. Nice. Here, there are some stairs leading down into a crypt. I think this is it. How's the entrance? Is it accessible? Not really. I don't believe this. The crypt is full of water. Shit. All right. Stay there. We're on our way down. Maybe Trevor can figure something out. Okay. So yeah, there we go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Peace.